Welcome to the news. This is Bliss Channel. Please, if you are just joining us, kindly subscribe and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. My people, my people, we go quickly hear the details of the story of our government can agree with the labor people. The Nigerian federal government it can't disclose significant advancements in the implementation of the agreements reached with the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC. The Minister of State for Labor and Employment will be the person of Ikuruka Oyenja Shakon convey this information in a statement where he say he can't release for Abuja. Following a 14-day ultimatum issued on February 8 by the NLC and the TUC, citing concern over the escalating cost of living and the non-fulfillment of a 60-point agreement from October 2, 2023, the minister issued that substantial progress had been made. Then the measured agreement encompassed the payment of a 35,000 Naira wage award for six months, the establishment of a committee on minimum wage review, and the provision of compressed natural gas, CNG, powered buses, among other points. According to Oyo Joshua, he can say the federal government he don't disburse the 35,000 Naira wage award for four months. He can say the remaining two months he did currently in the processing stage. Additionally, the Committee on Minimum Wage Review has been inaugurated with discussion underway. He can say the government has also initiated talks with relevant stakeholders regarding various tax incentives. The minister can emphasize the government's commitment to engaging in social dialogue with organized labor and stakeholders so that they will achieve industrial peace and prioritize workers' welfare. Also, notable achievements include the immediate suspension of valued added tax VAT on diesel for six months, starting October 2023. The provision of CNG buses and conversion kits has seen significant financial commitments with plans for their in imminent development to address transportation challenges. You can see say because of the issue where B say it day on ground, the plan protest can they connected with the alleged non-implementation of the CC point agreement reached with the federal government on October 2nd, 2023. Consequences of the high price of PMS and other associated issues. You may wish to note that the foregoing issue or objectives are the core of the pending case before the National Industrial Court. Upon the submission of grievances to the court, parties in the suit cannot resort to public protest over the same issues as such conduct amounts to gross contempt and affront to the institution of our courts of law. Therefore, the proposed nationwide strike action in all ramification is in clear violation of the pending interim injunctive order granted in suit number NICN slash ABJ slash one. 158 slash 2023 
Federal Government of Nigeria and Annoy v. Nigeria Labour Congress and Annoy on 5th June 2023, restraining both NLC and TUC from embarking on any industrial action or strike of any nation. It is not in that that the planned protest is designed to compare the government to accede to the demands of organized labor. Therefore, such action qualifies as an industrial action, which comes within the habit of the restraining order. This restraining order has neither been stayed nor set aside and therefore remains binding. The AGF, the Confederal State, said the federal government has substantially met the demands of the labor union, has contained in the memorandum of understanding the union entered with the government. The council in which to note that the government has substantially and reasonably complied with the items in the MOU and it is only appropriate and equitable for organized labor to engage more with the government to ensure the full implementation of same, especially in areas that have been inhibited by unforeseen challenges. The Council it therefore requires that may they kindly employ and enjoy their client to ref their client to reclaim from self help by shaving the proposed protests, which are antithetical to the mandatory engagement leading to the execution of the MOU, tautomorph to undermine subsisting restraining court order and occasioning disruption of public service. Order and safety. Now, so far, by me, come make and clear. My people, my people, when I don't hear how the matter be, <laughs> all this on way federal government they talk to. So. This not be the time to they speak English. Because right now, what in Nigeria they need na solution. They need so these challenges where they on ground. So, as labor they negotiate with government on the new minimum wage. And other issues will be say a day or ground to make sure say these challenges get solution. A good may they comply so that things will go away. So my people, I don't end the matter here. Thank you.